tragedy in North Idaho. Idaho State Police believe that a wrong way driver that killed a Spokane family over the weekend was drinking before that crash. 33 year old Matthew Michael Baroni and his two daughters, eight year old Madeline and six year old Molly, died when their minivan was hit early Saturday morning. The driver who hit them was also hurt, but when he recovers, 27 year old Ryan Turner will face criminal charges. ISP says he was in the southbound lane driving north on Highway 95 near the Athol exit when he hit Baroni's Dodge Caravan. KXY4's Allie Norton was, has the latest on this devastating accident. Idaho State Police said that they have enough probable cause to recommend three counts of vehicular manslaughter against Ryan Turner. What they're still trying to figure out is how he managed to end up on the wrong side of the highway. It was supposed to be a quick work trip. ISP says 33-year-old Matthew Michael Baroni likely put a mattress in the family van so his two little girls could sleep while he delivered newspapers. In an instant, a wrong-way driver changed everything. 27-year-old Ryan Turner was in the southbound lane, heading north near the Athol exit, and hit the family head-on. And that area is a controlled access highway with a median divider, so it was driving, you know, completely in the inappropriate lane of travel. Matthew Michael, eight-year-old Madeline, and six-year-old Molly were not wearing seatbelts and died on this highway. ISP believes Turner was under the influence of alcohol. The impact of that decision felt by so many. Many times you're dealing with the, the death of two children. That's very traumatic, both for the families involved uh, and the officers and first responders. Madeline and Molly were students at Spokane Montessori. The wife and mother left dealing with the tragedy is a nurse with the district. Spokane Public Schools brought in a crisis team to help with the grieving process today. When it's this sudden uh, and this great of a loss, two children um, and the mother also works at the school, it's, uh, it's going to be especially painful. It's going to hurt. Sergeant Sutton says that Matthew Michael Baroni likely wouldn't have survived even if he was wearing a seatbelt. But those two little girls... I feel that those kids probably would have survived had they had been belted in. You know, it's kind of a traumatic thing, very tragic. And those three victims were scheduled for an autopsy today. Idaho State Police says that they had a prosecutor present for that. So now they're just waiting for the blood work to come back to find out if or how much alcohol was in Turner's system. Reporting in Kootenai County, I'm Allie Norton, KXLY4 News.